Hey everyone, my name is Ben and I'm going to show you how you can make your own Snapchat lenses in Lens Studio without any prior experience. Snapchat lenses aren't just fun to use, they're fun to create. Whether you want to design face lenses, 3D effects, or interactive AR experiences, this series will help you get started from scratch. And the best part is that this is a choose your own adventure tutorial series. That means you get to decide what you want to learn next. We'll start with the basics of Lens Studio 5, covering key panels and tools, and then you'll have the freedom to pick different paths, whether it's face lenses, world AR, interactive elements, or scripting. By the end of this series, you'll have built your first custom lens step by step. So are you ready to dive in? Let's get started. So the first thing to do is download and install Lens Studio at ar.snap.com download. Once you have it installed, you can open it up, and we're going to start a new project. So now that we have a new project opened up, there is a lot going on here. So let's take a minute to talk about each panel and what it does. To start, in the top left, we have the Scene Hierarchy panel. And this panel shows all the objects in your lens, like 3D models, lights, and effects. Think of it like a list of everything in your scene. You can move objects around, group them together, and turn them on or off. Clicking on an object lets you change its details in the inspector panel, which we will get to in a little bit. So I'm going to click the plus icon, and I'm just going to add a box just to show you how it looks. And then on the bottom left, we have the asset browser. And this is where all your project's files are stored, like images, 3D models, and sounds. You can add new assets by dragging them in or hitting the plus icon and then import asset, or you can add objects from the asset library. Think of it like a folder holding all the pieces you need to build your lens. You can see once I added the box, it also added a box mesh here in the assets. And then here in the center, we have the scene panel. And this is the main window where you can see and move objects in 3D space. You can click, drag, and rotate objects to position them exactly where you want. And this panel helps you build your scene visually. To the right of the scene panel, we have the inspector panel. When you click on an object in the scene panel, the inspector panel shows you its settings. Here you can change things like size, position, color, and other special effects. This is where you can customize how objects look and behave. Down here we have the logger panel, which is going to show us different information about our lens, such as if there's an error in a script or if an object loads successfully. And then on the right here we have the preview panel. This is going to show us a live preview of what our lens will look like and see our changes as we make them. So you can see if I move this box in the scene panel, it's going to move in the preview panel as well. We also have the Gen AI suite, where we can create a lot of cool stuff using generative AI, and we'll get into this in future videos. So now that we have an overview of what each panel does, let's start making a lens. So the first choice we're going to make is if we want to make a selfie lens or a world lens. So go ahead and make your choice, and then we can continue on with the series. Thanks for watching, everyone.